It's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel and today I am super duper excited because I'll be checking out Purple Kisses MV for their brand new song called Nerdy. Now as some y'all may already know I went crazy when I first checked out the highlight medley with y'all for their fourth mini album Geeky Land. Them just coming through with their vocals all at once sort of like an acapella and then they just previewed each and every track on the mini album and let's just say i'm in for a treat like aside from that highlight medley i didn't check out the music video teasers at all i of course i saw the teaser pics on my twitter uh timeline i had to there's no way i'm gonna miss out you know because it's purple kiss i tell you guys purple kiss i had a really good feeling about them during the pre-debut days and of course they have quickly become one of my top favorite girl groups out there and quite quickly you know to think that they debuted in 2021 and now we're here with their fourth mini album is just so surreal but let's be real here they're always gonna surprise us with something brand new and something different per se they're just staying in their own lane doing their own thing and that's one of the many things that i love about purple kiss but aside from that guys let's just dive in the music video for nerdy now all right so i brought up the music video here nerdy by purple kiss i got the english captions on and all but let's go Exceptional Broadcasting Company. And they emphasized on the, the word exceptional, huh? Can I go in? Huh? <laughs> wow, quite the cynical start. Ooh, the string work here. I dig it. Ooh. Loving the rhythm from the start here. Swan. Ooh. Guys, I'm loving what I'm hearing so far. Like, the production for this is unbelievable. Definitely a lot to hear out for. Oh, so see. Oh, this is mad catchy. I love the hooks that I'm hearing in this so far. Like the hook. And just how they deliver their lines too. It's quite satisfying per se. Mmm, okay, this is verse 2. Okay, Yuki! Hey! Weirdo duck, okay? <laughs> uh, as much as this is quirky, cynical, it's quite... Comedic, right? Every time they deliver the word cool, too. Oh, this breakdown during this bridge, right? Yeah. Oh, the snare drums. Ooh! A playful piano work to the strings, the violin. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Now everyone's dancing along.
The kicks are done so well in this too. Okay, that's cool. And then they spelled out nerdy with the exceptional broadcasting company. Love the typography for this era too and the colors that they utilized. I like the color palette, you know what I'm saying? But purple kiss on the bloody top. What else can I say, guys? Purple kiss has done it again. But this might be my top favorite title track by Purple Kiss to date. Um, that may not mean a lot to you guys. It means a lot to me. But uh, yet again, it seems like Purple Kiss has topped themselves again. And dare I say, this is one of my top favorite title tracks by a girl group. Uh, in this year of 2022, uh, even though we have a lot of, a lot of phenomenal releases this uh, year, it's going to be hard for me to do that year-round wrap around the top 22 title tracks of 2022, but uh, I don't want to look too far ahead and think too much about that. Let's stay on track here and let me talk about what I'm loving in terms of the overall soundscape, what I'm eyeing in terms of the music video and what kind of influences I'm hearing in this. Um, actually, yeah, I'll talk about the influences within the overall soundscape uh, to, for this song. Uh, nerdy. The hooks do more than its job. Uh, the rhythm in this song is so infectious. You get just can't help but want to groove along to it. And uh, there's some moments too. Is it just me? But like, it you, you just do that. You get this like stank face on your face, like, ooh, wow, you know, just listening to this and seeing what's going on and what's going on throughout these scenes in the music video. But then you have a, a nice laugh and chuckle, per se, because there's these comedic moments as well, right? And there's moments where it's like, oh, it's, they're just being so cute. They're just, I'm sure they had a blast filming this music video, but staying on track for the soundscape wise, what kind of influences I'm hearing. I'm pretty sure a good amount of people are going to say, like, there's this Billie Eilish-esque vibe to it. And I totally get what those uh, individuals or you guys are thinking about this. And I wouldn't say entirely this is like, wow, this screams, like, Billie Eilish, like, kind of influence uh, stylistically wise. But more so simply the quirkiness in this, a combination of cynical and quirky all at once together on this rhythm, how it goes and how it plays out uh, with the sampling of the strings and mixture of string instruments I've got to uh, say on this. So I get I get that kind of influence, that Billie Eilish influence. By no means I'm not saying, oh, this is copy-pasted or anything like that. But uh, I definitely, that's why I emphasize on the word influence. Uh, and I it's, there's no surprise with that, considering how well the members really worked their Billie Eilish covers on their own channel, and if I recall correctly, also on the One K Originals channel that I need to cover more uh, often these days for y'all on the channel and Patreon. But soundscape wise, I'm loving that influence, uh, even though I'm not like the biggest, biggest like big Billie Eilish fan uh, per se. I'm not too big fan of that kind of a uh, 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 style, but like. Hearing that influence and hearing like Purple Kiss's signature sound uh, where they're like playful at times in their music, uh, quite quirky with it as uh, well, but also at the end of the day can come through with phenomenal vocals, you know, their vocal line and then their rap line and the, 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 the likes of uh, Dosi and of course, uh, Yuki just killing us like no tomorrow. That, that, what is it, weirdo duck or something like that? I'm gonna have to go back on that verse two most definitely. Now let me talk about the arrangement to this song. What I really like about this arrangement to this song is one, how it works with the lyrics. Look at the key points in this music video and song. Um, if we really go back upon the second, we're gonna do that, obviously, but during the post chorus, I think they mention like um, uh, Bully and all that connects to the Bye Bye Bully, uh, linking to their intro track that I still need to check out the performance for. I'm definitely going to save that for the album review and first listen. Stay tuned for that. 
But uh, I love how it connects to the intro track in that way in terms of the titling. I haven't heard that uh, intro uh, yet. Well, I think I did on the highlight medley, but not fully, right? You get me? But uh, I like how they included that in the, the post-chorus and all. And also, the way that they did the bridge is so cool, right? It, it, there was sort of like this tempo shift almost, it feels like, during the bridge, which was felt like a breakdown, like a dance breakdown. But it was more so just a, a, just a bridge, right? That like played with us, toyed with us a bit. And then we went into an interlude that I want to point out. And then we went back to the final chorus. Well, we went into a final chorus, not back to. And then we wrapped it up with a post-chorus, which I think is very fitting and wraps up the song so cleanly. So I got to give it to, what is it? Kang Ji -won, it's Kang Ji Won and um, I forget uh, his name. Let me uh, double check the credits for uh, Nerdy here. Yeah. Kang Ji Won and Kim Do Hyun. If you're not familiar with Kang Ji Won, Kang Ji Won has worked with the likes of, I believe, Mamamoo in the past before. But uh, let me double check here. Yeah, can we talk again? I mentioned this in the past before. It's been a while, guys. Sorry. And then Kim Do Hyun, of course, uh, working with a lot of the RBW uh, artists, right? And uh, I got to give it to them uh, for the lyrics, production, and of course the arrangement to the song as uh, well, right? So I feel like everything goes hand in hand. That's my point at the end of the today, right? The lyrics to the arrangement to the production of this uh, song, how it has that sudden tempo shift during the bridge you know, to really spice it up a bit, you know what I'm saying? But not drastically too much switch it up, you know what I'm saying? It's quite subtle with it. You know, it's hard to notice upon first listen, but like, whoa, this is the bridge, right? And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and just seeing how this played out visually, too, they went to some broadcasting company or something like that. It, it sort of reminded me like those variety shows with the banded hospitals and stuff, those variety things that uh, some idol groups do, which is <laughs> always fun to watch. Uh, but uh, just seeing how... They have these sort of like superpowers or something like that. I, I, I'm pretty sure you guys know more than uh, me of what's exactly going on because it's hard for me to really see what's up in terms of the MV while trying to figure out what's going on in the song sonically, you feel me? But I really liked how they were toying around the, the security guards and all that. Uh, the guy that was monitoring the whole uh, uh, place or something like uh, that and... Uh, we, I, this overall, I think the key words here uh, is haunted house and bop <laughs> or haunted house vibe, right? This is such a, a bop and a half and it, I love how it has this like haunted house sort of theme to it or a haunted place to it in, in this music video, uh, right? So that's, that's my huge uh, takeaway today uh, for you guys for this uh, brand new a song by uh, Purple Kiss Nerdy is just that everything works hand in hand together so well. And I can't even imagine how the B-sides are going to go. But let me uh, stay on track here. We'll dive back into the music video and I'll break down things that I'm noticing. Because uh, I didn't want to talk too much. Like I wanted to see what's up. I wanted to hear it out. But I'll definitely point out the strings and certain instruments and elements that happened in this song, right? So I'm gonna bring it back up here. I mean, I think that's the right word. Like, wow, this song is so ex exceptional, right? Oh my goodness, my bias. Reckon me, as always. So what's cool here, I love how we're getting different strings in here. I don't think um, I really don't think this is, um, the violin sample that I was talking about. This is more so of, like, um, like, more so of, like, a cello, like, a combination of different strings here, right? It's more heavy with it. Yeah. 
really dig a small thing. I really uh, love Nago and Balenciaga uh, purple hoodie. Love the color too. As some of you may know, my favorite color is purple. Minor thing, but um, <laughs> but that kind of succession. How I believe we. We go from Nago Un into Swan is crazy. Some late night show, it's called Freaky Show. Um, okay. Now there's that violin that I was trying to talk about. I love that usage of the violin there. Breakdown with the piano. I'm somewhere between E and R. Even if I'm a loser, I don't care, so what? Hmm. You know what? I feel like... I don't know. I don't think people use it as much as more. Maybe people use geek more than nerdy but like either way i get the point right like it, there's such a negative you know output to like uh nerd or a uh, geek at times you know and i'm saying and uh i really get what they're putting down here it's like even if i'm a loser i don't care like so what you know i'm i'm enjoying myself i'm doing my own thing uh and that's like me, honestly, on this channel here. I'm geeking out. I'm fanboying out. Uh, geeking out in terms of uh, m due to my musical background, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I like to use that term a, a lot. Geeking out, fanboying out. And like, who cares, you know? You may see it that way, but I don't see it that way, right? So I really love the, the, the sort of, I would say, message almost, right? That they're putting out here. What? Exactly. Oh, just the swirling of the strings there. This is what I'm saying. Like, I love how there's different strings utilized in here, whether it's the violin sample or the cello in this, the combination of strings, or those string instruments being played differently in this or electronically done in a DAW differently. You know what I'm saying? Is it just me? Uh, uh, me? But, like, I feel like... Dosi really rocked this era. She truly did. Sort of a bit of a big bring around chant and something like that. But yeah, this playful piano adds a lot to the strings. Oh, so that was going on, you know? They were doing, like, a film session for some show or some, like, movie, and it's, like, it's done behind the scenes. But in reality, you know, there is some paranormal activity going on in this the broadcasting place uh, with Purple Kiss being pre in present. Yeah. But I think this is truly a call out to uh, them bullies, you know? I feel like people got to be careful with the word uh, bully and how people may try to talk down the bullies to sway them away. At the end of the day, uh, you can't really do that. And I feel like that's a whole problem on Twitter um, and uh, a lot of platforms and in person. It's like... In in a way, some people that are, are like saying really bad things about bullies instead of just ignoring them and just like, you know, just ignoring what they are doing and saying. But I would not say ignoring what they're doing, right? You gotta you gotta say, hey, you need to you need to stop. Uh, but my main point is, I just see this whole full blown circle, just a small rant here, of almost like people bullying the bully you know what i'm saying and at the end of the day how are those bullies gonna learn from their actions okay i for one am not a person's like 
okay, in terms of society, let's lock up a person in life for uh, something that they may horribly have done. Now, that's really debatable on how serious uh, of what of a crime that they may have done, but I feel like rehab is very important and learning from your mistakes is very important. Um, it really depends on the mental and all that stuff and the type of person and all. But I really like how they're just straight up calling out like the bullies out there. It's like, hey, goodbye. I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to keep doing my thing. I don't care what they say. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I really like I really like that message, you know, that topic that they're covering uh, in this, even though this is quite um, comedic at times in this music video. <laughs> Mmm, you. Oh, it's hella Miyuki. I love how that transitions, right? From Swan, right? Yeah, Friday Night Live, Freaky Show, into Yuki here. It's sort of hip-hop influence because they added this 808 bass with... The violin, which is so cool to ha hear that violin and the 808 bass as at the same time during this verse too. Really cool. Weirdo <laughs> duck. Yeah. I'm only into what I see. This is my point, right? I don't mind playing alone. La, 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 la. Now, keep that in mind with the la 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 that transitions into Hold There's that piano again now we go into this. Now I believe this is the second or second post course, but uh, um, okay, we're into the breakdown uh, into the bridge, right? Click. Now we're on the bridge. Click. 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 And then we get a bit of the horns, the rattling of the tambourine or some sort of percussion instrument. A bit of shakers, maybe. Some vocal samplings here. And then we get that twirling, that trill of the string. I believe it's done in a trill kind of manner. And then I love how the timing of this is so perfect because these security guards are, are all all scared now. And I, and usually in a movie it's like, oh, or like a video game, that sudden playing of the music starts and happens, you know, when the, Something scary is gonna happen, right? Or almost gonna happen. Oh, the breakdown with the piano. And then we get the la 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 la. And essentially, they use the la 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 as an interlude during this. This is not the bridge here. The la 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 is the interlude, which is, I found really cool. Some of you may know I love interludes when they're done well. And uh, they did it so well on this one. And then uh, the one thing that I forgot to mention, uh, um, the importance of their tackling about loving oneself, you know, and, you know, how the saying goes and how it is supposed to be. Uh, before you can love someone else, make sure you love yourself, right? Make sure you love yourself. And loving yourself is very, very important, guys. Like I can't emphasize that enough. And it's a hard thing to do for some people, and especially for me over the years, who been very self-conscious you know I'm shy was growing up and then I became more of an open person and then doing what I love like which is k-pop and being able to do this kind of stuff with y'all on the channel here I can't emphasize that enough is so meaningful and special in my life and I, I love you guys for supporting me for to do this you know what I'm saying um but um yeah
And then we transition. Yeah, they wrap it like that. And then, um, I think during here... Guys, I'm sorry, I just want to just admire, like, the, everything that's going on in this brand new era. It's just spectacular. The different sides of topics that they've covered and came through with, like, an overall message and the theme that they brought to this is really cool. Even though it is not October and literally, you know, their logo changed uh, with, of course, the very Halloween orange type color, you know, the pumpkin color. But, um, yeah, I really hope this gains traction. Like, I feel like Purple Kiss deserves a lot more attention considering what they've been putting out, especially in terms of what's going on in their discography and how they've been able to grow it. Like, I showed my friend some of the tracks uh, previously on the Mem Mem, uh, Mem Mem, Mem Mem era, right? Sorry, uh, pronunciation of it. But, she was so blown away and i showed her some of the tracks like i'm gonna just like pull it pull it up here the certain tracks the likes um the likes of sure she loved pretty psycho right but i showed her the 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 likes of cursor right and like whoa ain't me hurt me love me and uh all like uh and I can't wait to show my friend uh, this new album after I do the album review to catch her up on uh, the world of K-pop and Purple Kiss and try to convince her to join the fandom, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, fellow Plories and fellow K-pop fans, hopefully enjoyed this as much as I did. This is clearly a 10 out of 10, a masterpiece, Chef's Kiss. I can't emphasize this enough, hearing orchestral instruments utilized in the world of k-pop is a thing that needs to be done uh more often i mean back in the day of third gen second gen releases you can hear a lot of like timpani drums percussion work instead of like what we're hearing today like 808 bass trap percussion i feel like it's been the scene has been uh really oversaturated because of these certain instruments that are quite trendy with it and you can't go wrong with utilizing those as elements but i feel like labels need to be very careful of what you know sort of soundscapes sort of routes they take for their respective idol groups and artists you know what i'm saying because something could be very too you know over the top or it could be uh too loud or it could not sound you know out of this uh, i would say unique you know and i feel like one of the things in k-pop that gravitated me uh, for some artists that i love today is how unique they are with their signature sound to the concepts that they do and the music that they release it's always refreshing right i think refreshing is the key word they're able to really top themselves or just switch it up you know when and still really deliver the same quality that they've been delivering or even up the ante and up their quality in terms of uh, their music right and uh yeah i appreciate that a lot with uh, nerdy and i'm sure i'm gonna be going crazy on that album review for geeky land stay tuned for that album review and unboxing of course but be sure to like share and maybe subscribe as it helps out the channel so so much and just warms my heart connecting with y'all fellow plories and k-pop fans in the comment section down below if you're on the fence of becoming a plory join the fandom of purple kiss i'm telling you just join join us you're not gonna regret it at all and uh yeah i hope they get more traction as i said take care as always have a great day have a good night have a good afternoon wherever you are this has been garrison as always though and peace